Namaste, I am Dr. Naveen Hedne, Senior Consultant and OT Director, Apollo Proton Cancer Center. Apollo Proton Cancer Center is a JCI accredited cancer center. It's the first JCI accredited cancer center in India. So, uh, OTs are integral part of any quaternary care cancer center. So, we have a state of art operation theaters. This is a area where we receive patients, where the patient identification and site marking which is compulsory according to JCI happens. Uh, now I will just show you, uh, this is one of our OTs. We have five operation theaters like this. Most of our of, uh, cancer surgeries take a long, uh, long hours, like six to eight hours, which includes removal of the cancer, then reconstruction, and complex neurosurgical procedures, then uh, cytoreductive surgeries and high pec complex robotic surgeries, which take up to six to eight hours. So, uh, which includes a teamwork, including the surgical team, anesthetist, nursing team, and the support staff. Robotic surgery is the most advanced type of laparoscopic surgery. Now there is always a question from the patient, uh, what is exactly robotic surgery? Does the robot actually operates on its own? The basic concept is it's a master-slave relationship. What we do in robotic surgery is that we connect the robot to the laparoscopic instruments that we place inside the patient's uh, body and then we sit in a console with which we have a few controllers with which we operate those laparoscopic instruments. What basically the robot does is to refine the actions of the surgeons, to make it more finer and better to do those uh, actions that is inside the body so that the surgical maneuver is very, very precise. So the main advantage of the robotic surgery is that uh, its vision, its 3D vision that we see in the robotic surgical camera helps us to understand the depth perception which is generally lacking in laparoscopic surgery. What it does to us is that we are able to do an oncological procedure very precisely. At the same time, whilst we are removing the cancer cells and the cancer tumor, we are able to save the actual important structures in order that the patient may recover faster as well. So our robo, the Da Vinci XI from the Intuitive Company, is the most advanced robo that is currently available in the Indian scenario. This robo with its 3D vision as well as its comprehensive pan-abdominal reach, that is for the same robo can be used to do either liver surgery, it can be used to do urological surgery in the pelvis, it is used to do colorectal surgeries, gynec surgeries and so forth, is the best tool that the surgeon can have in order to uh, give the best outcome to the patients. In Apollo Proton Cancer Center, we have the maximum number of robotically trained surgical oncologists dealing with a specific oncological field. For example, head and neck oncology, urological oncological cancers, we have GI oncology, which is gastrointestinal, we have genital oncology, which is basically dealing with the female gynecological cancers, and we also have pediatric uro-oncology in which pediatric children cancers are dealt with. This is by far to my knowledge the biggest oncological uh, robotically trained team in India. Namaste, I am Dr. Anand Murugeshan, clinical lead and coordinator of the Department of Anesthesiology and Pain Medicine Apollo Proton Cancer Center. Onco-anesthesia is a specialized care in surgical oncology wherein the patient will be prepared preoperatively for the surgery and the anesthetist will identify the optimal time for undergoing the surgery for the patient and ensure adequate intraoperative care and thereby reduces the morbidity and mortality of the patient in the postoperative period. An anesthetist should have a thorough understanding and knowledge about the cancer biology and the effects and the toxicity of the neoadjuvant therapies like chemotherapy and radiotherapy and the effects of the surgical intervention on the physiology of the patient. All these things are very important in giving the best surgical outcome to the patient with minimum morbidity and mortality of the patient who undergoes this complex oncosurgery. Namaste, I am Pandishwari, OT in charge. The role of a nurse is very crucial. They are an integral part of the surgical team who prepares and preserves in the sterile field. We are responsible to implement and follow the policy and protocols inside the OT. 
one of the significant role of the nurses is to follow patient safety protocols perioperative phase and vigilant in the surgical field throughout all the surgeries namaste all this is purnima working as biomedical engineer at apcc a role of biomedical engineers in the ot starts from supporting patient diagnostics treatment by installing testing calibrating and repairing the medical equipment we also provide training to ot technicians and ot nurses on handling and maintenance of all medical equipments we begin our daily routine by inspecting all the critical equipments and checking their functionalities starting from the self test of anesthesia machine and the defibrillator operational check a docking and undocking process of robotic surgical systems has been done by biomedical engineers the accessories and the power cord are checked physically and replaced with new one quarterly preventive maintenance is carried out if the equipment is idle if there is a breakdown of equipment in ot our primary duty is to provide a standby mission and proceed further to rectify the issue for breakdown and equipment risk management the engineers run test troubleshoot and find out the solutions and repairs namaste i am vidya shankar head of minerals and engineering at apcc we have five model ot with the iso 14644 guidelines our role in ot is mostly behind the scenes we monitor and follow jc defined guidelines to maintain utmost safety of the ot cleanliness the cleanliness level is class iso 5 in above above levels furthermore the walls and ceilings of the operation theaters are coated in stainless steel plates we maintain the minimum positive process of 2.5 pascal at all the ot's we continue the replace the 30 air changes and five fresh air changes in all the ot's were maintaining and the ot rooms temperatures and rh co2 levels and the h filtration status are monitored through bms systems in 24 into 7 We have two pendants in each OT, like anesthesia and surgical pendant, with the medical gas, UPS, supply and scavenging system. Our semi-automated OT has hand and leg touch button, motorized access sliding doors, and three access scrubs with hand wash with the automatic sensor system that use RO and hot and cold water, and had the bacteria, anti-fungal, homogeneous benign flooring with the static air capacity laid in all the OTs. those provides a 360 degree clean and safe environment for the clinical team to perform surgical masses free namaste i am shashikant housekeeping hod our department maintains cleanliness in the operation theater room which is vital to minimize infection risk our department is dedicated to ensuring an infection free environment through proper waste disposal surface cleaning and sanitization before during and after procedure Our objective is to minimize disease transmission and enhance patient safety. In addition to routine cleaning, we conduct daily floor scrubbing and fumigation to adhere regulations and uphold high standards of hygiene.